I switched over to canister filters for my 125 gallon saltwater aquarium. Got away from the sump, have not been happier. I have two FX6 fluval canister filters. I'm gonna show you really easy, and I just checked out the prices, a fast and cheap way to clean your canister filter, whether you have fresh water or salt water. Special thanks to Liam for filming this. Instead of cleaning this thing, I'm just gonna replace the media. And I don't use the media for biological filtration. I rely on live rock and sand for my biological filtration, okay? So there's nothing in here that I have to worry about keeping alive as far as bacteria. So instead of cleaning pads, what I'm gonna do is replace all the pads. I'm just gonna empty it out, replace the pads. I'll show you this. This comes with uh, six, well, long story short, it comes with enough pads to fill this and I'll show you how it's done. You know how much this cost? $17. So I think I can afford, I hope I can afford $17 every three months. So instead of rinsing the crap out, I'm just gonna throw away the damn sponges and replace them every three months. Same with these guys, look at this, look at this. This is not the Fluval brand, but they look identical. This goes inside, I'm gonna show you how to do it. A package of like 18 costs like $9. I think I can afford $25 every three months. So anyway, here we go. First, I disconnected it, pulled it out of the aquarium. We're gonna unscrew this. So we're emptying the canister filter now. That's step one. This thing holds about, I don't know, easily five gallons of water, maybe seven. I did the other one yesterday and it seemed like it was more than five gallons to me. Why clean sponges? I looked at the prices. Even if the sponges look good, I'm just gonna replace the, the stuff because why risk having anything that's broken down? Hey, look at that. Not too dirty at all. I put one of these in the top. The FX6 has three baskets. Look at, they're still kind of white. See, a little bit of this is nothing. I've seen so many people on YouTube where they've got crud and like mud in here. Give that a good toss. It's done. Who cares? Get that out of the way and watch this. What you're going to do, you got these lift holders. You're just going to go like this. Bam. It keeps them all together. This is basket one, two, and three. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The water's not draining out of here. This canister filter, it was not pulling that much water from the aquarium. I'm like, there's gotta be a clog somewhere. Here we go. Wow, this is clogged enough. Wow, that, okay, so that's, that's in the garbage. <laughs> I'm gonna put carbon in the bottom that's okay that's the problem okay only use these from now on i don't know where that came from i think it came with fluval i'm not using that again these are the ones to use the rigid ones they're not going to get as clogged that one got clogged because it's finer it's a finer foam this is going in the garbage this one this see why would you clean that why would i clean that why waste my time nope this is garbage too. Nastiness in the tray. I'm just gonna knock that out. I'll actually rinse that out. Why clean that shit? Why? It's $18. All right, so I rinsed these trays out. All this garbage over there. Look at that dirty. You can rinse it out and squeeze it out, but it's still gonna be garbage. Screw that. For 18 bucks every three months, here's what we're gonna do. Look at this. Look at this. How easy. fits perfectly this is not fluval brand look at how great how clean you don't have to worry about any fish food being trapped you just push it down and then pull it up a little bit right so basically how this works is 
the motor pulls water into the canister filter to the bottom. The water flows up through the outer rings, and then once it gets to the top, it flows down through your media, which is gonna be these black ones to catch any other particles. And then in the very bottom, I'm gonna put carbon, all right? But as you saw in the very bottom, I had that thicker foam that came with the fluval that got blocked with fish food and fish waste. So that's why it wasn't filtering properly. Luckily I have the second FX6. Okay, so this guy's done. We're gonna put one of these guys in here. Fits perfectly. That goes in like that. That's gonna be the top one. Your carbon or purigen in the very bottom. So after the water's been filtered mechanically, you can, you know, filter it through your carbon or whatever. Like I said, we're gonna put carbon in there. But look, <clears throat> this will probably be, yeah, this is faster than cleaning the nasty foam and it's cheaper. You know, people using filter socks and all that, how much are they spending on filter socks? How much time are they spending cleaning them? You know what, if this was gonna cost like 45 or $50 to replace these inner foam things, would I do it? Yeah, probably, because it's only like every three months I'm gonna clean this, right? You saw how, look how dirty that stuff is. That's two, maybe, I think three months. I think that's three months to be honest. All right, <clears throat> so I got a brand new one of these. I'm gonna put this in here as well. Again, I don't put any ceramic rings or any of that garbage. Look how clean this is gonna be. Look how clean, this is gonna be just killer. And my tip to you guys, if you have one of these or any kind of mechanical filtration, even Fluval says this in the instruction manual, make sure you don't have any restrictions. So I guess I do have some fine filter pads for water polishing that I was gonna put in the very last chamber. Well, guess what? That ain't gonna happen because we all saw what happened. It got clogged. So here's how it's gonna lay. All the water is gonna filter up through all these outer rings and then down through below. It's about enough. This will help take out any toxins in the water. Carbon will last about, you know, a couple weeks, whatever, and it won't leach back into the water. So, you know what, if this is, if this is in here for just a couple months, that's fine. But you know what, if I want to, I could just drain this, bring it outside and replace the carbon bag. I won't have to do anything with the pads, but I'm just gonna put this carbon bag so the, the water flow can flow through the carbon at the last stage. So let's get this going. This is gonna be the last stage. This will be the second stage. This will be the first stage. And we got these two guys here. This keeps the baskets aligned. Look at how clean that is. Gotta have clean, gotta have clean water for your guys. Or I could have rinsed off that crap again, like I said, that's nasty. Who wants to do that? Just drop this in. There you go, look at that. Put this guy on and i'm sure you guys have seen in other videos when you put it on make sure it's tight i also have rubber seal replacements because you got rubber seals in here that will go bad over time so i have extra foam extra rubber seals give it a good push and then you're going to put these on tighten this one and then tighten the opposite one tighten this one and tighten the opposite one Tighten this one and tighten the opposite one. You get the idea. Tighten this one and tighten the opposite one. Now, you don't have to tighten super tight. A good hand tighten is good until that's good. Once it snugs, that's good. That's good. You get the idea. Fill salt water from the top of the aquarium 
which will flow into this thing, power it on, we'll be good to go. That's it. I don't know how long it took, 15 minutes. All I have to do is just throw this crap away and put the remaining extra foam in the basement. Subscribe if you like it. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped you out. See you in the next video.